RCA Victor and its dealers present Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Everybody on the stage. Everybody on the stage for the pageant. Everybody. Kukla? Ollie? Jack, have you seen Kukla and Ollie? No, I haven't, Fran. Have you, Ross? No, 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 Fran. I see. Well, that's very funny. Isn't today the Western pageant, Jack? That's what we have scheduled. Anybody tell you any different, Russ? No, I haven't heard a thing. That's the only music. What, what other music do we have, Jack? Oh, uh, we cleared Sunny Disposition, Dreamer of the Penny. Dreamer of the Penny, Sunny Disposition. Yeah. Come in real handy right now, I'll do that. <laughs> A sunny disposition will always see you through When up above the skies are blah, instead of being blue Mr. Trouble makes our faces grow long, but a smile will have him saying, so long, I'm on my way. It really doesn't pay to be a gloomy pill. It's absolutely most ridic, positively silly. A ring may pitter patter. It really doesn't matter. For life can be delicious with a sunny disposing. Can be delicious with a sunny disposing. Everybody on the stage for the Western pageant. You're late for the pageant. Ollie is late for the pageant. The whole pageant is late. I always try to be on time. I'm always there. Maybe I'm not prepared. Maybe I don't know my lines, but I'm there anyway. I can't remember of a time that I didn't show up when, when you called, if you were planning a pageant. Huh? <laughs> well, a dill or a dollar, a ten o'clock scholar, how about you? You're late for the pageant. <coughs> no. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yes. Fine thing. Well, let me have it. Where were you? <laughs> Ice skating. No. Shoot the shoot. Am I close? <laughs> skiing? Well, you can break a lot of things skiing, but not up here. <laughs> you did, though, hmm? Why did you send notes? Why you yell from ski hill to ski hill? 
Were you in it or were you watching? Which? Watching? Get excited? <laughs> All days. I worked hard on this pageant. I planned a lot of things. I have some very good friends who are in the Western movie business, and I wanted to impress. <laughs> Stop, I haven't started. Just you and Ollie go? Everybody go? <laughs> you too? Well, Cecil Bill, I'm surprised at you. I truly am. Does it hurt or are you this horse? Just horse. Doesn't hurt. Well, I guess the only thing to do is just rest. That's the best thing, I guess. Have you been doing that? You have a sun lamp, don't you? Well, sit under the sun lamp. Don't sit too long, Miss Cecil Bill. Just a little while. Well, this will be a very interesting day, <laughs> I'm sure. I wish you could have seen that pageant. I had the most, be most beautiful things planned. Special costume. I even was going to have a new costume. I wasn't going to wear that old handkerchief anymore. So nice to have the children home from school. Oh! Well, I think the least you can do is to try to make up for it. Who uh, will help you? Your friend and companion? Fletcher? I'll bet... A, I'll bet... Hello, Fran. I told you Fletcher would be all right. You can stay and be in the pageant, Fletcher. Thanks, Fran. I'd like to be in the pageant. You too, Fletcher? You must have taken leave of your senses. Well, I... Better now? That's all you can do, I guess. Well, do you want to play? Oh, there, there. <laughs> Much better, thank you, Fran. I feel fine. Again? <laughs> Again? This makes me very nervous, Kukla. I mean, I, what's in there, Fletcher? Well, why don't you just play? Maybe you, it'll jar it loose a little. You want the Zalpha? Is there anything I can do to help you get it? Old friend of ours. He's right off him when he does. It's so interesting. <laughs> Well, I'll see you later. Is that all right? Get a little horse myself.
you like that, Fran? Yes, I loved it. We That's have good. a lot of time to fill today, and I suggest you... Now, you played it very well from the first. Why don't you play it backward this time and see how it goes? Oh, no, Fran, no. I i don't uh, I don't believe I'd better try You've that. You've always been one who was a great lover of adventure. I think it would be a nice thing. Oh, no, I don't believe I'll do that. Hmm. His line in the pageant. Bitch. Well, that was the only line I gave you, uh, Fletcher. Pardon me. I'm going to gargle. Oh, well, have fun. This is a great and bitter disappointment to me. I wrote the pageant. Of course, I only spent two or three weeks working on it. All my spare time worked so hard. I not only learned my part, I learned yours. I learned yours as well. I thought maybe we might change off and I would... Well, hello, Beulah. <laughs> well, this is the day. <whistles> How do you feel? <laughs> Oh, Beulah, I, I would have given you credit for knowing much better. I never really knew that you cared too much about winter sports. Not to the point where you'd yell your... What were you doing? Were you a judge? Were you in it? Well, where were you? What can you do with a scheme? <laughs> Tobogganing? Oh, you took them up on your broom. Air was cold. <laughs> well, Beulah, you should have... Well, what's the good of saying what you should have done? You already did it. Are you going? Get some rest now, Beulah. That's the only thing in the world that helps. Hello, cutie. Well, hello. Oh, you don't have to mop the stage. No, no, you don't feel well enough. I wouldn't even bother with it today. Uh, just take it easy, Coco. Just rest, and we'll do our pageant some other day. And, well, it isn't that dirty. It's a little soil, but I don't think it needs it too much. Hopscotch? You want to play hopscotch? I give her up almost. Me, yeah, I'll think. I'll, I'll get it. Wait just a minute. I'll think. Well, touche. I know you've planned some things, too. Yes, I know how bad you feel. Well, I can't think, Kuka. I don't get even a glimmer. Yes, we're commercial now, but a few more days like this and we won't be. <laughs> you have to pay attention to what you're doing. You can't just zip off and go and spend fancy weekends and then come back and aren't able to do the regular work-a-day things, which are part of your schedule and part of the things you've agreed to do. I don't mean to be cross, but I, just one of you had stayed home. I, I can't be expected to do everything. I took care of all the mail. the record. Yes. <laughs> so sorry. This is really my fault. Oh, I'm so sorry, Cooper. Yes, of course. And as a part of our pageant today, we plan to use The Lore of the West by Roy Rogers. And I think Gabby Hayes is on the record, too. And of course, this is part of the Little Nipper series that comes both in 45 and in 78. And what could be more wonderful than a little record player, the little one with all the wonderful Western figures on it, and the... This little player and the records are designed for each other, of course. You know, they're distortion-free, and a little player plays up to ten records. Just punch the little button. Well, could we play one now, do you think? All right, are you ready? Shall I take this? Well, I'll, uh, I'll put it away, then. One moment, please. I'm... 
<laughs> well, you'll have to sing that in the curtain because that's where the next act takes place. <laughs> I'm leaving. You you want to you want to work? Can you sort of put your shoulder to the wheel? Well, not not it won't be so literal. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a minute. folks way of getting you up in the morning anyway waking up with a song's a whole lot better than waking up with a grouch on what do you say gabby right as rain roy as soon as the hands hear that call they get up right pronto start hightailing it for the chuck wagon the swaller and get out trough we calls it <laughs> long time since i heard it called that gabby you must have had that one hidden your whiskers oh shuck son i've lived in the old west so darn long that's the only lingo i know well it's pretty good language and one that we should never forget. Way out in the west, in the land of the cowpoke, a 10-gallon Stetson will cover your hair. That's a big, broad-brimmed hat to keep out the hot sunshine. If you ever want to be a cowboy, that's what you must wear. Fither is the royal fither Have you ever noticed them long-pointed leathers? to cover the stirrups that some cow folks use. Well, they're what the Mexicans call tapaderos. They're good for protecting your boots and your shoes. Feather, 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 oh, yo, feather, Your chefs, that's just short for the word chaparreras, protect you from bushes and needles and thorns. They're usually made of some very tough leather. Pulled over your Levi's, that's how they are worn. There's hardly a boy who won't know about the Levi's. Those work pants they wear, which some people call jeans. They're tied in the legs and they're fastened with rivets, which help to protect them from tearing the seams. The strap that goes under a horse is a cinch strap. When saddling a horse, here's a pretty good pill. A cayuse will swell out his belly when you cinch him. Then when you get on him, the saddle will slip. You always go up to a horse on his left side. Get on on the left side, get off on the same. Don't ever go up to a horse on his right side. Cause horses don't like it no matter how tame. You've noticed in most every crowd there's a bully. Whenever you meet one, let this be your guide. A saying well known in the land of the cowpoke. A hard boiled egg always is yellower inside. Rither, 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 oil, oh, thy day. Howdy, pardon. <laughs> Did you have fun? When did you get back? Last night? Were you gone the whole weekend? Next time I hope you'll ask me to go. You won't ask me to go? Next time you won't go? You tired? No? Did you have a good rest? Hmm? Hmm? Did you have... Hmm? Hmm? What's the hmm? matter? Hmm? It's coming back. Is it? Hmm? Hmm? It's gone again. Oh, excuse me. 
You know, you have a very valuable throat, and you should take extra special care of it. <coughs> think Mr. Pink that does things like that? Perry Como? Don't get too close. Hello, cutie. You are better. <laughs> How about you? You're getting better. Mm-hmm. Well, good for you. You worry me, my goodness. Goes to show you. Oh, would you? Oh, me? Not me. You. And Fletcher? Is Fletcher here? I'll call him. I'll see if I can find him. Fletcher? Wonderful, and, and even though I, I know that it was difficult for you, you worked hard today, and I thank you. It's coming back. Why, sure it will be. It'll be back just as good as new tomorrow. No, it, but I, I didn't mean to shop so long. I know you didn't. You just got kind of carried away, I guess. Uh, usually, so uh, well, I know it, but usually when you go to the country, it's a much different atmosphere. It's a kind of... Uh, peaceful. Well, yeah, it's peaceful. Mm -hmm. At least that's the way I heard it. It's so peaceful in the country. It's so simple and quiet. You really ought to try it. You walk about and talk about the simple things in life. It's so peaceful in the country. It's so simple and quiet. You really ought to try it. You read a book or try to cook like any good man's wife. City living is a pretty living it's so full of unexpected thrills but there's too much stone too much telephone there's too much of everything but trees and hills it's so peaceful in the country it's so simple and quiet. 
try it. Someday you ought to try it. The only place to be. The place for you and me. Where it's peaceful. In the country. Stay inside and sit by the fire. And look out. Mm-hmm. It's getting better, though, see? Yes, it is. See? Holly? <whistles> Holly? You, kid? Hmm? How are you doing? Could you excuse me just for a minute? Oh, sure. Sure. How are you feeling? Well, I'm better. How are you? Well, my voice is better, but it... Oh, dear. I just knew I shouldn't have shouted like that. It isn't just that, though. I'm a little stiff from climbing up and down the hills. <laughs> well, guess we won't need what we got ready today. I think it might be a good idea anyway. Oh, uh, go ahead, say it. Should we do it anyway? Yeah, you just do it anyway. Say, just say it, I would. Say it? Just say it. Well, maybe so. Do uh, you think you're up to say it today, Ollie? Oh, sure. We don't need those things that we got ready. No, that's, <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Get ready. Uh, <coughs> me, 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 me. Mm, mm, mm. Ready, Coop? I think so. Me, 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 me. <coughs> All right. <coughs> Next time, we won't yell so loud so that we can won't. say this more beautifully. <coughs> Remember, in television... It's RCA. <laughs> Tilstrom speaking. To quote uh, Miss Beulah Witch, I might say, uh, Hello, kids. It's been great, great, great being with you. RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in television, first in recorded music. Get your RCA Victor 45 records now at your dealers. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago. NBC Television. <laughs>